Okay, so just doing a quick tutorial on the route that I take in Silithus. The map route is not what I actually do. Uh, it's pretty similar, obviously, but uh, don't quite do it. Just a quick note uh, for the stopwatch over here. This is a macro you can use to make it come up. This is an eight minute macro for the uh, spawn in Winter Spring for the fucking rare elite uh, if you're farming those, but you know, like you can just use it to pop it up and it'll basically start at eight minutes countdown. You can just hit that. But I always run a stopwatch for the route just so that I know how long in between picks and whatnot. But you just come down from spawn or, you know, whatever, flight path. You just start at these two here. Um, if you want, you can get farm HUD, which is just a hockey that moves your minimap down here, makes it invisible, and then only shows the spawns and stuff. Uh, the green circle is like the detection range. So as long as it's been inside for a second or two, then you know that there's nothing there. So this is a pretty safe route, um, but so we go through here and check these spawns, because uh, there are actually two. There's another spawn back here. I uh, just don't have it on Gathermate right now because I deleted it. So I deleted the wrong one, then I had to delete the other one as well. So um, These are random spawns, what they are. Sometimes there's like an easier mob to avoid here other than these guys, but if they're over to the left like that, you don't have to worry about it but they do pat over here, so they're a little annoying, but you can wait for them to pat back and you don't have to worry about it. Uh, there are no stealth guys in this hive, but there are in the other two hives, but we'll talk about that when we get there. The other spawn is like somewhere around here. You can't remember exactly, but as long as you kind of like run like this, then you'll find it if it's there. Whoops. So there is a pat that can be here, uh, the Twilight Prophet, yep, that guy, comes with you know, a shit ton of mobs, sometimes they're a lot closer than that to them, but uh, yeah, you just run away. If they're actually there, uh, they like go all the way deep into there. If they are actually there, you might want to just wait instead of running by if you're not a druid that can you know, get away a lot easier if you get dismounted. But they pat like all the way down here, so it's not a frequent occurrence for them to be in your way. You can kind of jump around them pretty easily. I check that spawn. Uh, this is one of the old spawns that is kind of a pain in the ass. You only need to kill one if you can stealth, but otherwise you're gonna have to like clear two it as well, so it's kind of a pain in the ass. But they're not not elites or anything, so it's not that big a deal. It's just more a time factor if somebody else comes along that can sell. So then you just kind of come across, check all of these, and go into the bug spawn. Like, pretty much this is the only part that doesn't follow where this line is. The route itself takes about 15 minutes usually, give or take, depending on you know, how much I pick and whatnot. I always actually run up here because if it is spawned, then you're going to have to run like back around and come up, so you may as well just run up and jump down. You can always hit the little thing here just to take a little less damage. Avoid the rock stalkers. If you aren't aware, they net um, 
Druid, I don't give a shit, obviously, because I can just shift out of it, but it is pretty much a total pain in the ass if you're not a Druid. They are not, like, magic dispellable notes. Uh, there's a stealth guy over here. A lot of the time you'll see the stealth guys load in before they go stealth, so it's easier to learn where they are. Uh, there's one here too. I always just kind of jump through here just because, but there's one there. I'm just kind of like, normally you'd obviously want to avoid these guys. I'm just kind of showing you where they are. Uh, but if you do get aggro on stuff and like, you know, you're like dying or whatever, just jump in this. This is a reset point. So you can just chill until they fucking de aggro. So may as well buff up. So yeah, I'm reset. And you can just hop out here. There's no stealth guys like right here. Uh, there's one right here though. This is where the other spawn is. Never fucking care about Golden Sansom. Uh, so he's probably padded all the way down there because he didn't see him. But there's none that spawn here. Just one rock stalker. You can go that route over there, but I just prefer to go up and around the back to check that Silver Sage as well. I haven't actually seen this Lotus yet, uh, so I'm not 100% certain if it's like up here or down here. I assume it's down in the hive, but uh, you never know. The stuff from Reddit and whatnot isn't exact, so you want to make sure to get a lot closer to those just to make sure that, you know, they're not like slightly off so you miss it. Run up here, check that one. So then you cut over, check this, and then we're gonna go up here. But as you can see, it's a pretty safe route compared to even burning steps where there's at least a lot of elites and shit that you have to fuck with there. <clears throat> These guys are obviously pretty low level, um, so they're not like the worst. But they do attack really fast, so you'll get dismounted fairly often if you're not careful going through here. Uh, they also, if you don't know, spawn bugs uh, fairly often. I think it's a 50% chance when they die, so it's a, an additional pain in the ass. If you pull like two, then all of a sudden you got four mobs, and so it gets a little out of hand. I just always kill the spawns that are rare, just cause fuck it, free green. Eternals more than likely. So that one's like right there. You usually have to like kill one or two mobs that are patting around. Most of the spawns are either completely by themselves or there's like one or two mobs that are just, you know, like the random scorpions and shit. This area gets a little monk -ass. Uh You usually pull that guy if you don't take that super hard corner. Um, but this lotus is like all the way up here. It's basically right over here next to that thing. So I just jump over here and then kind of take the little ladder down here. You'll generally pull this guy, which starts a chain reaction of a bunch of dudes fucking casting Frostbolt on you, which is a total pain in the ass. I'm gonna not dismount and run away just to, you know, make it see that see it's still fine even if you're not a druid. Um, a lot of these things are like reset points. I don't think that one is, uh, but like there's a large cluster. Yeah, that one. Uh, if you jump in the middle of that, shit won't attack you unless it's ranged. I'd imagine that's the same reset point as well. I had a lot of 
So this one, the route tells you to go down south. I always come up this way just because it's uh, a little easier and faster. There's going to be a stealth guy yeah, right there. Uh, general rule, yeah, so see, like, that guy just loaded in before he went stealth, so you know to avoid him. Uh, but general rule, obviously, with these bugs is if you don't see one, there's probably, and there's, like, a gap, there's probably another one, and these guys are independent of that logic, so they basically aggro when other stuff aggros. Just heard this. Ah, oh, goddammit. Switching the song, so now I get charged like four times by this fucking guy. Oh, I got out of range, sweet. Still somewhat convinced that there should be a spawn up there, but I don't bother checking anymore because it's kind of nah. I generally don't care about that silver sage. You can avoid pulling anything, but if I pull anything before I see it, I just don't bother. I just kind of take a wide berth around this shit, because if you're not a druid, shit can get kind of hairy if you run straight through the middle of that and get dismounted. This one's one where you always have to kill a mob, because it's like right on top of the spawn, uh, and a lot of the pats are kind of monka. They get really close, so you got to be really careful when, when you're picking it. Like, you have to go on kind of the northwest side of the lotus to not pull stuff. Like I said, I get like one an hour generally, so I wouldn't expect one for you know another 30, 40 minutes probably at least. But uh, I always write down the spawn and reset the timer. Really should just use like ERT or something to keep a note in game instead of notepad out of game, but I have only just thought of that, so. Yeah, so uh, that's the route. And then I just, you know, rinse and repeat. Um, if anybody has any questions, uh, you know, or needs clarification or like needs a link to the add-ons, uh, like Farm Hut is really nice to have, uh, just in general. It's really nice to have, not just for Lotus. Um, but uh, yeah, let me know. Hit me up in Discord if you got any questions or whatever. Peace.